What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It is the Wolf, and today we will be reviewing Powerless Episode One here on In and Out Reviews. We try and review everything from comic books, anime, manga, shows, movies, and video games in three minutes or less. So let's get into it. All right, so Powerless is the first comedy produced by DC Comics that takes place in the DC comic book realm. Here we get to see a little bit of an insight what it's like to be a civilian in a superhero dominated time frame. Clearly, not everyone is a huge fan, and yet we have seen that, you know, we got to see the collateral damage that gets caused by superheroes, but we never get to see how it affects the daily, day-to-day -day life of a civilian. Like, seriously, could you imagine this situation happening every other day? Yeah, I didn't think so. And I can see why some of the civilians are a little disgruntled at the fact that superheroes exist at all. So, in Powerless's first episode, we are met by Emily, aka Vanessa Hudgens, trying to get to her new job at Wayne Security in Charm City. She has moved from a town known as a flyover town, which basically means that superheroes never stop in and really do much, they just fly over. And because of this, she's always been interested in this sort of thing. She feels like she can't make a difference as a regular person with no superpowers, but her dad tells her otherwise she can definitely do it. She packs up everything, she takes a job at Wayne Security thinking that she's going to make some good changes here. Little does she know, she's not really here to bring changes necessarily, but to put a Wayne in Gotham City. No, not Bruce Wayne, but his cousin. <laughs> She is tasked with taking care of a group of engineers, software developers, etc, etc. Basically the people at this company that put together items and ideas that can help regular civilians in daily life try and live in this cat and mouse situation of being between superheroes and villains. Which as you saw previously can cause some serious issues in your day to day life. I bet that dude's insurance premiums are through the fucking roof. Very quickly. Emily and her staff's jobs are under fire as Bruce Wayne decides that they're no longer necessary because they're not coming up with any great ideas. But the cousin of Bruce Wayne finally gets to go to Gotham City as he wanted, so he's pretty much chilling. Emily refuses to take this sitting down and she comes up with an idea to track villains based completely and solely in scent. Of course, her and her team of misfits get it put together and Bruce decides they maybe they should stay open after all and the cousin of Bruce is no longer welcome to Gotham City. Overall, I give this episode of Powerless a 6.5 out of 10. I do think this is a new, fresh idea and I'm happy to see that DC Comics is trying a new thing, but I also think it was a little cheesy at times and maybe a little fast paced. Like, I would never have thought that in the first episode everybody's jobs will be on fire but it was still an enjoyable episode i do think i will give this show three episodes to woo me and really get me invested in the characters which i think will be possible because i tend to like cheesy quirky material i do think this is going to be one of the shows for the populace though that people won't be sitting on the edge of their seats every um day it's supposed to come out and be there waiting for it but i do think this will be an enjoyable show for anybody who has like hulu and just wants to chill back and watch something funny so there you go that was the end out review of powerless episode one in three minutes flat or less thank you for stopping by if you enjoyed this review let me know in the comment section below what show anime video game comic book or manga you want to see me do an in and out review uh, like, share, subscribe, and also please, for the love of God, hit that little bell down there that's supposed to be a notification. And even though the wolf has got a scat, just remember, long live the wolf pack. Arr!